Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's me, Josh Halter, and we're found of the Bio Dude. So you guys remember the children's pythons? Here's the habitat. It's doing great. They laid a bunch of eggs. Uh, as of right now, we see two clutches that my girls are really wrapped tight around. So I'm gonna go and we're gonna get the eggs put in their incubation box and work on getting them over to the incubator. Super exciting stuff. Let's get started. Okay, so my one girl, she's right over here. She is really wrapped around them right here. And I know that I try to disturb her. I know, baby. Come here. I know I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt your eggs. I promise. I promise. I promise. Come here. Okay, looks like we have a nice clutch of four eggs here. Now, what's really important when, when moving or dealing with, with snake eggs or just eggs in general, that you keep them in the exact position in which they were laid. You can't let them fall. You can't let them shift in positions or anything. Perfect. And then I have an incubation box. I can't believe she didn't bite me. Look at this, five really good looking eggs right there. So first thing I'm gonna do really quick. Look at those veins. They are definitely, definitely fertile. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just look how big this clutch is. This little tiny laid these big eggs like this. Absolutely amazing. All right, let me make sure that the top is not touching it, okay? So I, I know that she's probably upset. I'm sorry, you went through a traumatic experience here. We're gonna feed you, we're gonna feed you really, really heavy, but here's mama. You can see she lost she lost a little bit of girth just on the sides here, but I'm laying such a big clutch for an 18 inch snake. It's extremely impressive. All right, now we're gonna go to number two. Come here. Oh yeah, there's definitely another clutch in here. All right, I'm just gonna put you over here. I know, come here. Oh, it looks like, oh, it's my, it's my really light girl who laid that beautiful, and you, you, you kind of notice the, uh, pack, the pack mentality here. They're all, they're all helping incubate this clutch here together. And they dug a deep, deep hole. Look at this. This is a huge clutch, huge. She, and so what we saw, we saw two females and a male wrapped around, and now we see, and then with the other clutch, we saw that one all by herself keeping those babies warm. All right. Okay, come here. Come here, let's go. Come on. Nice, looks like another clutch of five, maybe six. Okay, so this marking here on the side, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but we're gonna see. Okay, 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 here we go. Come on, baby. It's okay, let go. Now, what makes this challenging is how these were laid. They're literally being kept up, kept up like this. So for me to be able to facilitate keeping them on the way that they were laid, I'm gonna have to, you don't wanna shift them and move them, but there is no way for me to put them in here um, without manipulating them. Okay, all right, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so proud of you guys. We'll get some good food here. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. How about that? So we have a total of 11 children's pythons eggs, and I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop let, let's go get them in the incubator. So here I have one of the Mike's Wilbanks homeostatic incubators. This is one of the bigger models and I'm gonna put them right in here, right like this. I'm incubating them at 86 degrees. My expectation for these guys is 60 days. 
Now, I did not put a, a, a mark on the top with a pencil to ink to say this is the side. Um, I will be checking these probably, I'm not gonna lie, every day I'm here because I'm just ecstatic that I have these because I love Morelia's, I love Anna Theresia's. Um, but what I love more is the fact that this was a project that I wanted to do. And I'll keep you guys updated with it. Super exciting. Cool.